uh, super regional managers. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, thank you, Ms. Ali. Um, uh, very, very grateful for you uh, calling me. Um, I had to briefly step out of the debate for an urgent meeting with the business secretary to talk about energy prices, so thank you so much for fitting me in. I'll be as quick as I can. I'm um, also very grateful to my honourable friend, the member for Waveney, for securing this absolutely important debate on a subject which comes up um, very frequently on the doors of the high peak. Um, and let me start by thanking uh, the dentists, orthodontists, uh, hygienists, technicians, and all those who've worked incredibly hard in dental practices over the last two years through the pandemic. And we're lucky to have some excellent dentists in the high peak, including Dean Kennedy Dental Practice, which happens to share an entrance with my constituency office in Whaley Bridge. Um, and we all know that dentists work very hard for their communities. But nevertheless, a large number of local people have been in touch with me about how difficult it is to get a dentist appointment. A freedom of information request by the British Dental Association indicates that 70% of appointments or 28 million courses of treatment have been missed in England since the start of the pandemic. And making up this backlog is absolutely essential. So I welcome the recent announcement of an additional £50 million investment in NHS dentistry, including the nearly £9 million for my region to help patients access dental treatment and catch up that backlog. But beyond the short term, it's really important that the government take steps to guarantee the long-term sustainability of NHS dentistry. Far too many people are finding it impossible to get registered at a new NHS dental practice. And I have previous experience of this difficulty firsthand, you know, how difficult it was to try and get registered for an NHS dentist near my home in Glossop. And according to the great British Oral Health Report carried out by my dentist, 53% of the public have not had a routine dental checkup in the last year. Of those who have not seen a dentist, 28% said they could not get an appointment, and 14% said they were unable to register for the NHS dentists. And these are worrying figures, and I fear that we could be storing up real long-term problems for public health, as relatively routine dental problems go unchecked and untreated and develop into much more serious conditions, which need much more expensive treatments in future. And several honourable members have identified uh, the concerns about mouth cancers going undiagnosed in the long run, which is a big worry. Part of the problem is that there simply aren't enough dentists, and we need a serious drive to improve both the recruitment and the retention of dentists. And this is an issue that I've, I've raised directly with ministers previously, including making the suggestion, as others members have made here today, that the government look again at the recognition of overseas dental qualifications. Similarly, the long-term plan for the NHS rightly emphasises the importance of preventative health care, and dentistry should be the front line of this effort. I hope that NHS dentists will be properly represented in the governance of the new integrated care systems, including in Derbyshire, so we can have a truly integrated and joined-up approach to public health. So I look forward to hearing the Minister's response to the points which I and other members have raised today. Swift action is needed. Hello, Minister Karen Smith. 